Hello, my name's Joe and welcome to this Express Technical Training video. Today, we're going to be turning a customer's artwork into a print and cut ready file. Firstly, we need to select the pick tool. We then need to select the artwork that we're going to be changing into a print and cut file. You should then see trace bitmap come up here. If I click on trace bitmap, I can then use one of the tracing options, such as detailed logo, to create a vectorized version of the original image. So you can see the progress bar down here. As it fills up, eventually you will have your traced design ready to be printed. So if I click OK, I then have our traced version of the design and the original. I'm going to delete the original and then I need to work on the traced version to make sure it looks as we want it to. You can see as I'm moving it, there's a lot of white around the bottom and around the sides where we need to get rid of that to make sure that when we actually print it, it doesn't have any funny shapes. So you can see if I was to take this and use the boundary tool now, you can see this horrible shape around the outside. Obviously we don't want it to cut that shape. So instead, what we're going to do is we're going to undo that, go back to as it should be. I'm then going to go to the objects tab, ungroup the objects, and I'm going to get rid of the ones that I don't want. So for example, the pen in the center here, we're probably not going to want that. Um, and anything white also in the design that we just don't really need, we can just get rid of all of that. So then when I select it all and move it, I now have the basic shape of the Coral Draw logo here. So I will now just want to put a cut around the outside of this design. Now to do so, the best way I find to do this is to draw a circle around this particular type of design, such as this, and then just make it the right size effectively. So. We're just going to move the circle around until we've got it to the size we need. I can then change this to the cut contour outline color, make it hairline, and we've now added a cut line to the outside of this circular file. If the file, for example, had another shape here, so let's say we put this star on and then make it the right color just so it looks a bit nicer, if that's possible. So if we have a file like this, the best thing to do would be to select all of the file and use the object shaping and boundary tool to add an outline around the outside. Once that outline has been added, we can then use the cut contour tool, sorry, like that, to add the cut contour outline around the outside. Once that's been added, we can then take it, make it a hairline outline. So now when we print and cut this, it won't be cutting out the center here, which isn't what we want. We want to cut out that center area so that we can see the color of the garment through the logo. So in this case, we're going to use a new tool called the Smart Fill tool. Click on the inside of the logo like that. If I then make the Smart Fill tool no fill and right click the cut contour outline, and make it hairline, we now have a cut on the inside and a cut on the outside. I hope this helps to explain how to use the different tools and different processes in CorelDRAW to add cut lines to your artwork. You can see I used a few different methods, for example, just drawing a circle or drawing a square around an already set shaped design. If that doesn't work and you've got a funnier shape design like I had here, you can use the object shaping boundary tool to just add an outline to the outside and then just change the color of it to cut, uh, to cut contour. And then if you use the boundary tool but you still want to cut out certain pieces from the middle but not everything, you can then use the smart fill tool from down here to just fill in the sections that you want to add the cut line to. Once you've added those smart fills, select them from your objects tab on the right hand side, make them no fill and give them the cut contour outline. Thank you for watching this Express Technical Training video. 
I hope this has answered any questions you may have. If you need any further assistance, please raise a ticket at expresstechnical.co.uk.